celebration for my birthday. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> She's such a good helper. <laughs> no worry about bearing feelings by mentioning a lady's age, because once you hit this significant milestone, it is of course a countdown to a message from the Queen or King in 10 years. There are some very special people not here with us today. Foremost, of course, Herbie, followed by Ma's siblings, Barbara, Bruce and Bob, the aunties Phil and Patty, and I'm not going to go further in the event of missing someone significant. If you are in this room today, you are special to Ma, and thank you for coming to be a part of today. When you reflect on our mother's life, I would have to say she's one out of the box. A fabulous role model for any woman, but especially her daughters and granddaughters. From the Navy at 18 to collecting the Wrens together post-war and the inaugural celebration reunion, Miss Empire Games in 1950, to life in Melbourne in public relations and her role as Aunt Mary on the radio in the children's session, to giving out Peter's ice creams outside theatres and the launch of Ansett's Hayman Island, to marriage and bringing up her family. We all know Ma was and still is a can-do, decisive, energetic organiser and a vibrant and loving individual. We offspring have all been blessed with two major life lessons above all. The first is the importance of family, and we have had childhoods and now our adult lives interwoven with the connections that give us a sense of belonging, constants in our worlds, as we six have made our own families. The second is the family that we choose for ourselves, our friends. There are so many of mums and dads' friends who are a part of our lives that family celebrations would be incomplete without your attendance. To remember our childhood, for the most part at Clifton Road, is to remember a house full of people, laughter, parties and noise, and not necessarily always the kids. Ma was a consummate entertainer and delighted in bringing friends together effortlessly, and still continues today with the girls at Mayfair. Every time I hear she's having a dinner party or a lunch for eight, I feel so guilt-ridden and I feel I'm so slack in comparison. What a fantastic legacy she has given us. Ma, we salute you and give thanks that God gave you to us. I'd like to, you to all lift your glasses or cups to toast Leslie Mary by whatever name you call her. Ma, to your continued good health, happy birthday, darling. Mary. Okay, great. Okay, granddaughters, this is 